This is now the outgoing Prime Minister of Tunisia. A year and a half after taking office, he failed to convince MPs that he should stay. The situation is not excellent and there are a lot of problems. Some are structural problems. No one can deny that. But people make it seem worse as everything will stop. And that is not true. Major political parties in the country, including his own coalition, no longer believe in his leadership. And crucially, he lost the support of Tunisia's president. So it seemed inevitable that in a late vote on Saturday, the majority of the assembly voted against him. The government was successful in terms of security but failed economically, and the fall of the dinar is the evidence. There are also employment problems, and the biggest problem is phosphate production, for which the prime minister could not find a solution. And the country lost 2.5 billion US dollars because of this issue. Habib Seed's government survived three Daesh linked attacks. But by the time he was able to curb the security threat, crucial foreign currency revenues from the tourism sector had vanished, depleting the state budget. Many Tunisians are frustrated with the slow progress of successive governments and say key issues like corruption and transitional justice remain unresolved. We do not trust anyone. We do not trust this government or the next one. That is why we are relying on people and the youth to come to the street to protest. Now President Bejikait Sibsi is expected to appoint a new prime minister who will have a month to form a government and win the confidence of the National Assembly. Tunisians expect a new prime minister that will keep the country safe but also put economic reforms in place and create more jobs. Yusuf Geji, CCTV, Tunis, Tunisia.